In the previous video, we learned the installation and the use of reroute. In this tutorial, we go through the same operations for loop B1, a virtual patch bay for MIDI signals. <laughs> Having a synth that's not a VSTi, or having virtual instruments with a very attractive performance and sound, but in another dose, compared to our main one, it's possible to use them by using Loop B1 driver, downloadable from nerds.de. It's for free, for non commercial use, although you can purchase it at a very affordable price. Having 1000 euro or bucks for a smartphone, certainly we have a few bucks for this wonderful driver as well. Once installed, accepting all the default options, connect your MIDI device and fire your DAW up. I use Reaper, to which I connected my MIDI keyboard. You can use your own DAW whatsoever. I add two tracks. One is for the audio, and I set it up with a rear route to record the audio from a synth in another DAW. Then I add the MIDI track, and I set up the input to the MIDI keyboard. I test it to check the signal flow. I want to use a citrus sound, a synth of Freddy Loop. To do so, I have to be sure that Loop B1 is detected by Freddy Loop and activated. Back to Reaper, I open the routing of the MIDI track. I select Loop B1 by the drop down menu MIDI hardware out. Now the MIDI signal from Reaper reaches Freddy Loop and controls the citrus. On Fruity Loop, I have to set the audio driver up to reroute. At this time on Reaper, turning the monitoring on, I get the audio signal so I can record it. On the track for recording, I open the transport panel and I record a simple scale from C to G. Let's go and play. In case I don't like any longer the timbre I used, I can change it with ease on Freddy Loop 2, playing the MIDI track and recording its audio on the wave track. I record the new audio. Let's play it back. Of course, the latency parameters depend on your system. It is up to you to adjust them accordingly. That's pretty much it. I hope it was useful. Please just click on I like, subscribe to my channel, and click on the small bell to be aware when a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching.